Serach, Ecclesiasticus 13. He that touches pitch shall be defiled therewith, and he that has fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. Burden not yourself above your power while you live, and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than yourself. For how agree the kettle and the earthen pot together? For if the one be smitten against the other, it shall be broken. The rich man has done wrong, and yet he threatens with all. The poor is wronged, and he must entreat also. If you be for his profit, he will use you, but if you have nothing, he will forsake you. If you have anything, he will live with you. Yea, he will make you bare and will not be sorry for it. If he have need of you, he will deceive you and smile upon you and put you in hope. He will speak to you fair and say, What do you want? And he will shame you by his meats until he have drawn you dry twice or thrice. And at the last he will laugh you to scorn afterward when he sees you. He will forsake you and shake his head at you. Beware that you be not deceived and brought down in your jollity. If you be invited of a mighty man, withdraw yourself, and so much the more will he invite you. Press not upon him, lest you be put back. Stand not far off, lest you be forgotten. Affect not to be made equal unto him in talk, and believe not his many words. For with much communication will he tempt you, and smiling upon you will get out your secrets. But cruelly he will lay up your words, and will not spare to do you hurt, and to put you in prison. Observe and take good heed, for you walk in peril of your overthrowing. When you hear these things, awake in your sleep. Love Yahuwah all your life, and call upon him for your Yahshua. Every beast loves his like, and every man loves his neighbor. All flesh consorts according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. What fellowship has the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the righteous? What agreement is there between the hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? As the wild ass is the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. As the proud hate humility, so does the rich abhor the poor. A rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friends, but a poor man being down is thrust away by his friends. When a rich man is fallen, he has many helpers. He speaks things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. The poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too. He spoke wisely, and could have no place. When a rich man speaks, every man holds his tongue, and look what he says. They extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speaks, they say, What fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. Riches are good unto him that has no sin, and poverty is evil in the mouth of the wicked. The heart of a man changes his countenance, whether it be for good or evil, and a merry heart makes a cheerful countenance. A cheerful countenance is a sign of a heart that is in prosperity. And the finding out of parables is a wearisome labor of the mind.